tattoos? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nez Porter at you. Just want to give you a little footage of what goes on in the city. Down here at Mass Ave. This is like the uh, Methadone Mile. Let's see what we got going on in the city. If you look down here, this area is heavily populated with all kind of people. I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's see. I don't know if you guys can see the area down there. This area has large amounts of people. And at any given time, if they're not here, they're down over there. So, there's always a lot of people down here. And uh, unfortunately, there's no place to really put them. There's no help for these people. We've been trying to get the mayor and the governor to help us out. And they haven't helped us out yet. So we're trying to get some services for these people. And if we get any resources out there to help these people, you know, give them some kind of shelter, give them some kind of help. Um, Domingo, Will, and his crew, and the rest of them, they, they've been helping them out with food, clothing, and stuff like that, but that's not enough. We, we need to help these people in a, in a better way. And I... I feel that it's not getting enough media attention, especially in the city of Boston. On any given time, there's an average of uh, 13 overdoses per day. That, and that's on the minimum. There's an average of 13 overdoses per day in the city of Boston, in this area right here alone. It's not, it's not everywhere, it's just this area alone. Citywide, it's probably triple that amount. Let's give you guys some footage so you guys get to see what goes on in the city. And this happens on a regular basis. This is not, it's not something new. This is for like the past seven years now. It's been happening ongoing. There's always something going on in the city here. And it's not these people's fault. You know what I mean? Like some of them just fell into hard times, you know. I mean, it happens. To, it can happen to any one of us. Without giving the right resources and the right help, how do you expect them to get back on their feet? There's others that will criticize them, but you really can't criticize them. I mean, like, an addiction is is a bad and serious thing. It's serious. That's it's like an addiction is not something easy to overcome.
this is And this is just one area of Boston. There's many other areas like this in Boston. Maybe not as bad, but there's several different areas like this in Boston throughout the city. There's like this in the Fenway, some areas in the Back Bay, downtown Boston. If you go to the Boston Common, um, even down by South Station, it's, it's all over the city of Boston. The North End, um, East Boston, there's probably no point of the city where you cannot go where you won't see this kind of uh, activity. And unfortunately, these people really have no real resources. Which makes it even... This, this, this was known to be a public health crisis and they still have yet to do anything about it. I guess he's trying to move them along so he's trying to get them to get to come to clear out of the area I guess. That's what it seems like. just going to push it from one location to another location so they're not really going too far definitely not going too far at all trying to get everybody out of there, move them along the best way they can, which is a lot of people there, by the way. If I was a guess, that's at least a couple of hundred. Like I said, the, the mayor, the governor, um, they have no answers. They, they, they have not even uh, even responded back in an adequate manner. Only thing they do is they see a large crowd. They kind of disperse them so they're in a different location. But that's not solving the issue at all. So you got three, three cruises, um, probably 24/7 around the clock, just just area alone. You got a, you got one cruiser here. You got one over there, and then one like straight ahead down there.
I guess they just they cleared them off the corner, so like that whole group that was here just dispersed. So they basically just like moved them from one angle to another angle. I don't know what that's not gonna really do do too much because they just settled settle down somewhere else. The other night there were so many people um, at the intersection by Mass Ave and uh, Melina Cass over there. It looked like it's just a wall of people. That's how many people it was. And I don't know if that's the tent that everybody's talking about. There's a, there's a tent down there. I'm not sure if that's the tent that they're talking about. It's supposed to be the safe injection tent. I'm not sure if that is or not. One day uh, I'll take it, I'll venture over there and see what that is. This area, a lot of people do get hit by cars, just so you know. At least once every other day, at least somebody gets hit by a car. And it's sad, but it does happen. Take a walk to Mass Ave and see how it looks over there. If it looks any different than over here, I'm not too sure. Take a quick look and see. How are you doing? How are you? What's happening? Good, good. What's going on? Nothing much. How's it going? It's going. It's going. All right. So what are we doing right here right now? What are we doing? We're okay. just standing at the corner. Okay. Wise. You seem like you're looking over there. I can look that way. I'm asking a question. We're having a conversation. Okay, we want to know. How can I help you? I just want to know what is the interest that you have from over here over there? I have an interest in everything. Okay, okay. I have an interest that these people are out here hurting and our mayor and our governor not doing nothing about it. I hear you, man. I wish there could be more that should be done. And we've been calling Marty Walsh and Charlie Baker. Okay. And they don't care. Okay. That's, that's very concerning. Turn this over and let them know oh, they, oh yeah. Like to see. Exactly. Okay. I have every okay. right to do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys should be You're doing the same right. thing. Man, we are here just trying to save lives as well. You, you guys yeah. should be just we as outraged. Right man. We save lives. Exactly. Okay. We're out here trying to push it. You guys should be just right. as outraged as okay. everybody else that Trust this me, is happening. Don't think we're not, but it's, it, it's like it's not just a one man crusade. We're trying you to know? do. We're trying to see if we can get a petition together. Okay. And get, if we get so many people to sign this petition. Okay. And, um, and force the government to do something about it. Okay. But this is a public health crisis. All day. Yes, Whether it we is. like it or not. It's before us. If Charlie Baker and Marty Walsh cannot call this a public health crisis, then we should get them out of office. We don't need politicians in office that don't represent us. Yeah. And, people, no doubt. They are so human that's why I, I come out here and I document different things. Okay. And this is, a, this is a major concern for the city of Boston. Okay. And if Charlie Baker and Marty Walsh don't care about it, then why are they in office in the first place? Right. Exactly, right, my man? Mm -hmm. See, even he, he says that. Oh, yeah, he's on point. See, you know what see that? I gotta get him on he's there, too. too. Yep. Yeah. No see, like that, that. that's, that's like what's that. going on here. Man. Gotta expose the wickedness, you know? All day. You gotta expose no. it. Gotta take that strength and make it work for you. Exactly. Uh -huh. And, it, and it's sad that all they're doing is running them from one corner to the other corner. Mm -hmm. They come out here, push them in that corner, push them in that corner, yep. push them down that way, but they're not helping these people. Yeah, I don't know. No, they know what needs to be done. 
I don't know what's in it right now needs help. These politicians know what needs to be done, trust me. The, and well, we, we've been we've been protesting them. We, we've been we've been down at Mass Ave. We, we kind of slowed down because of the um, the, the weather. Okay, now are you with Turtle Boys? I'm with I'm with everybody. <laughs> but I know who Turtle Boys are. Yeah, yeah, I'm with them too. Yeah. Okay, I said yeah. that because they definitely bring their exposure on yeah. situations and stuff. So you know. Yeah. I'm with anybody that's going to do good for the community. Right. If you're going to do good for this community, I'm for you. Okay. If you're not doing something for the community, I'm not for you. That's the way I look at it. So this, this way... No, we're at the bottom of the food chain. We're at the okay. bottom, but we can get to the top. Yeah. And just so you know, this is going to go on YouTube and it's going to go on probably Facebook. It may go some other places too. I don't, I don't know yet. Okay. It gets a lot of. Use your discretion to decide yeah, I, 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 I to use go. my discretion and how I want to use it. Yeah. No cutting, no editing. It's, it's all as is. Wow. So I, I, I don't, cut. I don't cut and edit stuff. Okay. I might pause every once in a while, but I, don't, I won't cut and edit. Yeah. That's that's it. I, I don't believe in that. I hear you, man. Oh yeah. Individual. Wait, well, okay. call three one one. Voice your concern. Absolutely. The more people that can call 311 and flood those lines, right. and we want some feedback I was too. Something on that today, as a matter of fact, about the 311 and how they needed to really increase the capacity of people that are taking calls, responding, and things like that. Right, yeah. So, yeah. Well, when I call 311, I, 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 I ask for the, the, um, the incident number. Okay. Because I want to do yes. a follow up to find yes. out what has happened. And so far, yes. I have not gotten any follow up. Marty Walsh will not return your call, just so you know. Did you get an instant report number? Uh -huh. uh, it's in my email, yep. I, I do have it. It's in my email. Marty Walsh will not return your call. Kim Janey will not return your calls either. I have spoken to, like, Sonya Chan and um, okay. the other one, and they voiced hey. their concerns about it. And you know some of them are running. She's one that's running for office, right? Um, uh, Sonya Chan Diaz, I, ble I believe she is. Yes. Okay. And I, so. I've spoken to her a few times. Okay. I, I spoke to Ayanna Presley too. Okay. So those so people will I'm talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Ayanna Presley will talk to you. Sonia Chandias will talk to you. Yes. I saw you the other people here. I can't really speak for. Okay. Um, I don't really know too much about them because they, they haven't talked to me. Okay. But if they talk to me, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, to talk to them. Okay. They, they know how to reach me. I'm not too far hard to find. <laughs> Trust me. What you say? Just look around. You see look around. Something. You'll find me. Okay. Yeah, you, you definitely, you, you definitely find me out there. Matter of fact, tonight when I go home, uh -huh. I'm gonna put another call in for 311 okay. and see what the response is. Okay. And see, and see what Marty Walsh's uh, take on it. And they specifically said, uh -huh. just so you know, okay. Marty Walsh does not return phone calls. Mm. Wow. They, I got that from 311. Wow. They That's said Marty Walsh does not return, return phone calls. Well, quote that, no doubt. He, he okay. does not return phone calls. Quote that. Yep. That and I, I will call them again and see what happens. Yeah. Why you yep. keep that down? You have to. You know? Keep ringing until it can't ring no more. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's an echo. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, these, these people need help. You know what I mean? It, it's, not their, it's, it's not their fault that they're out here. Mm -hmm. Some people fell into a hard time. Oh, exactly. So, you I know what I mean? That. Addiction is, is a, 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 a tough me. thing to fight. And the sad part is, man, yeah. everybody's doing the same battle. Mm -hmm. right? To mental health, to, to just hardship, to drug use, to everything. Everybody's in the same exactly. battle. Exactly. You know? And it, that's a tough situation. And we're in a pandemic right now. It shouldn't yes, be 10 or more people gathering together. Thank you. Half these people have got no mask on. No, I know. So if they got no mask on, then what do you think is happening out here? Exactly. I mean, I did tell you that they've been pressing over here. Uh, I think he said every week or every two weeks or something. I don't know how true yeah, that but is. I, I'm looking over here. I don't but see not, preventing like I see this. maybe one person, with two, maybe two people with a mask on right now. Other than that, right. You don't see it. Two people with a mask so, on. You know, how deep is it really being implemented? Yeah. But if Charlie Baker and Marty Walsh want to enforce a rule, how about getting these people some help and treatment? Yeah, enforce the rules the right way. Yeah, and it's yeah. unfortunate that, you know... It is what it is. It's unfortunate, right? We all deal with it and see it every day. That they, they, they don't care. You know, you know, you know, I, I see it every day. I mean, this has been going on for eight years. This has been going on. I don't know if you know that. This has been going on for eight years. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yep. Wow. Wow. 
Marty Walsh knows about it. Charlie Baker knows about it. He's been in office as of that, right? Matter of fact, we, we, they've been protesting in front of Charlie Baker's house. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Um, I think one guy got arrested for dumping. Yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly who that guy is. I'm with, I'm with those guys. Okay. I, 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 we, we devastate with those guys. And um, they try to say, he, we dumped it on a public sidewalk, so yeah. which the worst case scenario, that could be considered littering. Right, exactly. But, yeah. but because it's Charlie Baker, mm -hmm. they made a big thing about it. So it wasn't littering then? It wasn't, no, you, you have a right to, to regrieve re your government, you know, redress your government. You have a right to do that. I guess you're saying, though, just in his private space, maybe that wasn't something that was actually called for. No, I, I, would did, I would do the same thing myself, to be honest with you. Because if you picked him up off the ground, you can put him back on the ground. Okay. And he came off the ground. He, it ain't like he, he came from his house. No, but it came the only from the thing I have concern about that is when Jordan showed up and his family was there, his daughter and his mother. So right? how his did they, how do you think these people feel? You know? When they got to walk right here all the time. I mean, elderly people... Children get a pass through here. Right. There's drugs, there's feces, there's exactly. urine. Man, there's all kind of stuff out there. All the time, they mm -hmm. the exactly. Man. So how do they feel about, about that? Well, when I do ask them why are you here doing this here, you know what they tell me? If I go in there, they make me stay in. Really? Yes. Now, that was the response I got. So hmm. I said, you know, the one of the gentlemen I spoke to that had believed himself on the side of my yeah. So when he told me that, I said, you know what? Maybe it's best that you stay in. Maybe just well, find if, if they know that they're doing this right, yeah. why don't they put out a porta party out here? They can put a porta party at this corner, put one at that corner, sanitize every so many hours. That's better than having it on the ground, right? The city of Boston can afford that. It's a health crisis there. Yeah. You know? That's what becomes an issue. And they got public works over here. I don't know what they're going to have them doing. Well, actually, a lot of times they come during the day, clean it up. Clean up the area. Yeah. That's, that's, theoretically, that's disaster. like evicting these people. Because oh, think about it. If you have nowhere to live, you live on the street. Yeah. So theoretically, you're evicting them without no court order. Mm. That's what you're doing, which is illegal. Well, I guess they're figuring public space, right? Here we go back public to the space. sidewalk. Well, you know? public space, yeah. you know? Yeah. So all they can do is clean up. Just say nothing and clean up. See, the yeah. thing is, I mean, it's sad that they have to go through all this, though. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for the workers in there. Yeah. They gotta come out and be confronted with that. You know? Exactly. Make sure you don't go to work thinking, oh, this is gonna be my day. Well, yeah. well, you know what I mean? You do a public service, but to some degree, you wanna limit what your access is. So right, you know, right. You know, so it makes it tough. You know? yeah. and, and this this is gonna go like this all through the winter. Yeah, that's just sad. You know? they, they, they're gonna sleep through the winter like this and the same scenario over and over again. See who the survivors are. That's you know? it. That's up. Yeah. Every once in a while, I see punch men come out. They they hand out blankets, yeah. hot soup, and stuff like that, yeah. which is which is good. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But the thing is, it's it's not enough. You know what I mean? We need more. They need they, they need shelter. Yeah. They, they, they need medical treatment. You know what I mean? Yes. They need to be cleaned up. Mental health, all that. Yeah. Though. I can't let you chill on there though, man. You can stand all day. You can stand, but you can't sit. Yeah, so you're sitting there, it's a problem, okay? <laughs> yeah. That, my man. You're not my friend, just so you know. I, I know, you're just trying to be. I'm with you, man. I know you came solo. I'm with you on that. You I, know? I, I don't claim you nobody. You. No, I, I don't, I don't claim, claim people. I claim me too. I'm with that. Okay. <laughs> I just, matter of fact, I just met this gentleman today. Yeah. How you doing, my man? What's your, what's your name? Him, what's, what's your name, my man? I'm not seeing you regardless. Hi, so. T? Yeah. Right, nice to meet you, T. Be safe out there, my man, all right? No man. I mean, try to stay warm, stay hydrated, do all that good stuff, my man. We we'll try to get you guys some help sometime. Oh, that's right. Do them out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to be safe. I, I'm all over the city, so if you don't see me here, you see me somewhere. I'm sure I will. You will see me around. I'll, I'll let you know. Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be around. Take care. Be safe out there. Yeah, so unfortunately, you know, like I said, the mayor, the governor, our city councilors, apparently our voice is not being heard enough. Like, some people do hear us, but the people that do hear us are not in the power to make the change. And the people who could make the change don't make the change, like our mayor, our governor. You know, city councilors do have the power too, whether they know it or not. They, they got to force the change. And we as the people, we have the power. 
We just gotta force it. We gotta force it. We can't take it sitting down. You know, these people are in a tough situation and they need some kind of assistance. See, they're moving these people along, but where do you honestly expect them to go to? Like, where do you expect them to go to? You keep moving them, but where where can they go? These people obviously are homeless. They don't, they don't have a house to go to. So where do you expect them to go to? You push them from one end to the other end. They go as far as Mass Ave and even further down by Symphony. And then they go as farther this way to, like, South Boston. So you're pushing them. They're going places, but... Where can they really, really go? I'm gonna head up out of here because I do have other stuff I have to do, but I, I figure I'll come out here to get a little footage of what's going on in the city, especially in Mass Ave down here. What they call, they now call this Methadone Mile which is, uh, it definitely got its name. It definitely got its name. But we're gonna start calling it the Marty Mile because Marty inherited this mile and since he hasn't did anything to change this mile, this is his mile. Maybe change it from uh, Methodon Mile to Marty's Mile. So they're moving these people down to Mass Ave. I'm gonna take a walk down to Mass Ave and see what's going on down there. And go down the street. All right, y'all be safe out there. If, if you're looking for this video, it's gonna be on YouTube uh, under External Affairs. External Affairs, yeah. You'll find it. All right. External Affairs Porter. You will find it there. And I, I get, I get, I get a lot of, um, a lot of people give me the thumbs up for doing this kind of stuff. And the ones who don't like when I do it, um, I guess I'll call those the uh, the haters, because I get more people, people from out of state, telling me, Nez, you're doing a great job, keep up the good work, and that's motivation. And they're saying, and why aren't more people out there doing this? There are people out there doing it, like. Um, my buddy Will Justice, you know, he, he makes a few videos out there. Um, uh, there's a few people out there that do it. Maybe not as extensive as I do it, but there, there are people out there. I, I don't know, that, see I cover a lot of different things, so I don't cover just one area. I cover anything that could be a matter of interest to the public. And this, to me, is, is a matter of interest to the public. There are people in Boston who don't even know what's going on around the city. So I, I bring light to that. I, I, I expose it. And I don't just point the bad. I, I bring out the good, too. If there's something good, sure, I document the good stuff. But if it's bad, it's bad. You know, you got to show the good and the bad. Unfortunately... Trying to get an exact location right now, but he's saying start EMS. A lot of stuff going on in the city. This is one of these areas that, you know, it's going to take a while to clean up. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of motivation. Sounds like a possible forward host at the uh, bus stop at PLS. Uh, cash checkers across from the base. Bus stop and turn to PLS. Charlie 111. 111. Can you start EMS to our location? Uh, we have a female here who's stating she has, she has cramps and uh, bleeding. Alright, so it's, it's, the city's starting to get busy, yes, so right in the parking lot. I'm going to head out of here and make my rounds. So until next time, Nez Porter, I'll be back at you guys again with another video, sure. 
Um, I got so many things on my list. So I figure I'd get this one out of here. And then I got a few more I got to do by the end of this week. So stay tuned. Yeah, did we assign a unit to respond to that OD? Possible OD? Yes, sir. I was just uh, entering the other calls. Charlie, 425. Can you check that overdose across from the base in front of PLS? Charlie, one of many overdoses in the city of Boston. This is the bus stop on Morton and, uh, and Blue going inbound. He's on the bench there. He's, uh, it looks like he's having an uh, overdose of uh, some type of narcotics. He might need an officer with narcotics. All right, guys. I'm going to head out of here. Until next time. Nice quarter.